this is Rebecca Martinez of artscalifornia.net. And I am broadcasting live from the Simmons Art Gallery. All right. And in a couple of minutes, You'll probably be hearing from some artists on Studios Tour. Today is the grand opening. Hi. And here is uh, Rose Kirby's work. Beautiful paintings. Usually she focuses on paintings of women. Very spiritual, sometimes horses. And here is ceramics by Marianne DiMartini. Beautiful scraffito style. All right, here's one of my favorite customers, Gina. Hi, Hi Gina, how are you doing? Good. So glad you could make it today. Yeah, thank you. I'm excited you guys are here. Thank you. Good. This, and, um, you know, um, Judy's night lights are always so popular. Yeah, they're beautiful. They're fun, aren't they? Mm -hmm. She's an amazing illustrator and uh, can't stop drawing and this is a lot of times the results. It's amazing to transfer a drawing into this is I wanted to also say this is what Robin did. Oh nice. That's beautiful. Thing that she can add to the gallery. Yeah she's multi-talented isn't she? Yeah. Okay, so this is the side of my house. We're gonna walk down here as if you were coming to visit my studio on yes. this really nice day that we're yes. having today. Yes, it's a very nice day. Yeah, how's everything there? It sounds really busy, which is fabulous. It is quite busy here. Okay, that's terrific. And I can't wait to get out there myself, but I'm trapped here. Today <laughs> and tomorrow here. Yeah, we love it here. It's lovely Auburn. You know. So here's a, uh, do you want me just to show you everything that I've got here? Is that what you yeah. want me to do? Yep, yep. Go ahead and show us what you got and uh what are these? Okay, these are two sculptures that I have done that are COVID related. Uh yeah, this I was just inspired by the horrible COVID stuff oh, there. They're yeah. made out of wire, different forms of wire. I formed this face and, and the base. And then this one is trapped inside the wire. Oh, yes, I see it. Yeah, so, so okay, so then we're move on over here i've got some of my ceramics which most people probably know my ceramics here's some of them that i hung outside can you see those okay yes yes look all right those are porcelain with glass all of these wow. here's kind of a close-up of one a little bit you can see a little bit look better nice. thank you Okay, so this is my, this doubles as our garage and workspace. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, double and, duty. <laughs> pardon? Double duty. Yeah, double duty. So here's my kiln here in the, in the garage. Um, I have 
made tables for probably about 15 years now. And so I'm showing my tables and paintings today. Okay. So uh, I do all the work on the tables by myself that I can. And then my husband helps me on what is, you know, I'm not physically able to do. Sure, so sure. like mix the concrete. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mix the concrete stuff. Yes, he, he has to do that. So yeah. here's, a, here's a small end table. Uh, this is concrete top. I made the ceramic and glass insert that I put in here. Oh, and the base is uh, made out of construction material called Paraland. Okay, sounds good. Then, this is, this is one of my favorites. I've, seen, I've made several of these benches. And I call this the McLean bench because that's my son's name. And okay. I love, this, I love this bench so much, so I named it after him. Excellent. Uh, the top of this, I did. I used a Japanese form of um, finishing called Chao Shui Ban, where you burn the wood and you char it, and that shrinks the capillaries in the wood and makes it waterproof. Oh, kind of interesting. Because so, it looks like it's been varnished. Yeah, it's really an interesting process. I, I, it's really fun to do. And, and then I did this table, which would be like an entry hall table or behind a couch. And I also did the, did the finish on this with the Chao Shui Ban and made this glass and ceramic insert that I put in here. Uh, this is actually redwood and redwood really comes up beautifully when you do the Chao Shui Ban. On it. Oh yes, yeah. so those, those colors go really nice together. Yeah, it's just just beautiful. And and then I do put uh, I do put some tongue oil on on these after after I finish them. Okay. Then this table is uh, con concrete and an old redwood that I have um, I've been hoarding for some years now. I got it in an old barn. It's probably close to 100 years old now, and nice. it had never been exposed to the weather. Uh -huh. So that table and this table are both from that old redwood. Oh, okay. It looks like they're complementary tables. Yes, they're yes, they're like yin and yang. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so um, so those are my tables, and then um, I um, I was having uh, a lot of trouble with my right hand, and I I ended up and so I started doing more some painting rather than the ceramic for me. This has been a couple of years ago, so uh, here's some here's some of my paintings. I tend to do abstract, and these are all uh, these are all cold wax and oil. That one is thirty by forty. Most of these I'm going to show you right here are that high. Another thirty by forty. Okay, now, what, what do you mean by cold wax? What do, what is that process? Well, I buy I buy this wax um, from Art Supply. And it's kind of like a, a paste consistency, okay. sort of. and I mix that with the oil paints. Mm. And, and when you do that, it does a couple of things. First of all, it um, it dulls the paint down, so they're not it's not as shiny. Right. Yeah. You just use the oil, and then also you can apply it in different ways i i like how it works because i can put it on and then i, I put my layer on and you can pull some of it back off if you want it's just really right. fun to work with right. so Very here's nice. another one that shows you you can see a lot of the layers that i've done in this um, one yes 
it's like, I don't know if I get up close, if you might be able to see even more. Oh yeah. See all of There are a lot of layers on that. <laughs> Lots of layers, yeah. And then these next two I did um, when the Australian fires oh, 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 uh, I lived in Australia for a long time, and so it's kind of near and dear to my heart. Yes. So this is one of the paintings I did as those fires were happening. Oh, yes. Yeah. And here's another one from the fire. Pardon? Sounds like you have some uh, visitors. Uh, no, not right this minute. No. That, that was me. I, I piped in. Okay. I wanted to, okay. this is Rebecca, I wanted to say Kev. Huh? You want to say Kev, I loved your tour and thank you so much. I find your work quite fascinating and beautiful. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. And um, yes, send, send people my way. Okay, okay we will. Thank you very much, Kev. We'll talk to you later. Just Google my name and you'll get my website. Perfect. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, great. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Hi. Hi. Hey. Thank you. Great. Uh, what's, uh, what, what are you guys up to today? Well, we wanted to introduce you to our studio, the Art Studios at St. Luke's. And I'm going to flip this around if I can. Okay. And walk into the studio. This is our entry. Great. And we have some of Keith and my work here, and some of Paula Amarine's work here. Very nice. And then we will try not to make you seasick. <laughs> and we'll walk, walk in. Okay. And Paula and I share this space. Here's Paula's side, which she will talk to you more in a moment. And then Great. this is Keith and my space, my husband Keith Smith. Right. And mine, there's Keith over there. Oh. Be comfortable. We you know we're, we're here. We're, we're live at the uh, Persimmon uh, Art Gallery, and uh, we're visiting with uh, Verity John Smith and Paula Emery, and my husband Keith Smith. Who's and Keith Smith, <laughs> the tea artist. Excellent. And yeah, show us uh, some of your work and uh, tell us how how you go about producing these wonderful fabrics. Okay, um, I do painting but I also do felt making and um, botanical printing so I'm gonna have to flip you around again okay to show you some of the work this is this is just our stash over here of supplies good for a lifetime or two yes I love supplies um, and here is some of Keith's work which I can let him talk to about a little more this is reverse um, and then some of mine, and you can see that uh, there are leaves printed on some of these pieces. Um, mm -hmm. as the dragonfly is painted on uh, botanical printing, felt making over here, and some more felt making, and then some paintings on the back wall. And uh, this is my space where I actually do the work. I stretch the silk, I apply dyes to it, uh, and then eventually have to steam it to set the dyes and wash it all out so that you can wear it with a white shirt and not be afraid that you're going to lose your, uh, your shirt. Right. And uh, then it's finished. Nice. Very nice. That's a very brief overview because there's three of us in here. <laughs> so um, let me hand you to Keith to okay. show you his work and tell you what he does. Great. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to go slowly. Oh, you're <laughs> uh, good afternoon, Keith. Good afternoon. Well, here, oh, I see. let me start here. I use a technique which is called chop batik. Hmm. It's an Indonesian technique invented in the late 1800s, early 1900s. And it was an early stage of industrialization um, mm -hmm. to make the manufacture of batik more rapid. What you're looking at is a chop. It's a, st a copper stamp on an iron frame. Uh, it's used with uh, a very thin layer of hot wax. Which okay. see, uh, you'll start with a blank, a white uh, scarf or whatever. Uh, you'll dye it a light color 
and then come over the top with this uh, stamp. What that does is protect the color that's underneath. Okay. Then you can uh, dye or paint on top of that. You can do this a number of times to bring up quite a complex uh, looking uh, garment. I'll show you here. If you look at these, these are things I did in Indonesia. Oh, yeah, very nice. You can see very complex mixture of colors and shapes. So you can build a 3D image. Right. Um, so uh, these are uh, my latest series, the forest floor series. And as you see, you can get very colorful and complex designs from the use of this technique. So the portrait work you see here are on canvas. And I've um, spent a, a good deal of time working on um, products from food products that we eat and uh, illustrated this book. Yeah, that's a very nice I, cookbook. Thank you. I, 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 this was a, a very um, uh, unique pleasure of producing um, 45 paintings for this book. And uh, over a period of about 18 months. And you said, you say 45, 45 paintings? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I actually can show you one. One of the originals is, um, it's here. Here's an original of some uh, cherries. And these were done with um, oil pastels on a paper that's no longer uh, being produced anymore. Okay. And um, it's called sand sticks paper. It was uh, expressly made for oil pastel painting at the time that I did these. Um, I have also, uh, I went from doing the uh, fruits and vegetables to farm animals. This is an original painting of um, my son's barn animals that he raised. And um, that was a real, a real treat to be able to do. Um, I have spent a couple of years experimenting with this type of work. Can you, can you follow me? These are experimental paintings that I did with the use of uh, photography and uh, oil paint on top of them. And what I found was I could create a, I could use the subject that I had at hand. I create the composition with the camera. I print them and then I paint on top of them. And uh, that was really a fun, fun medium to enjoy. Yeah, that sounds like uh, a fun idea. The, I'm sorry? That sounds like a fun idea. Yeah, it, um, well, it was a great way to integrate uh, photography with painting. And uh, you're seeing, these are original oils and they're products from the uh, farmer market. And I spent um, a good deal of time going to the farmer's market and uh, picking up the subjects for my painting and uh, having a lot of fun meeting the farmers, having a lot of fun um, talking about how food is grown, where it's grown, and how fortunate we are to have it here in, uh, <laughs> in Placer County. Yeah, so not only you get some uh, subject matter, you also uh, get some lunch or dinner. Ah, yeah. Oh, that is true. Uh, yeah, I, can, I can verify that um, on these paintings, everything uh, that I bought, I ate afterwards, with the exception of the little birds and, and um, the additional <laughs> little creatures that you see. But yes, I did eat everything that I bought. Um, and then the last thing I'd like to share with you is over here. And these are some paintings that I've been working on recently as a, they were also an experimentation, but they began with the fact that I am in a building that has an art deco design building in front of us. And um, so I went from there and I decided to paint a series of these women. Um, with their different hats, with the different subject matter, and um, have had a great time working on these paintings. And there are, the originals are on display at the Persimmon Gallery. 
so right. they can be seen there, with the exception of this one. Okay, they can be seen right here at the Persimmon Gallery. Yes, in fact, um, a um, number of originals are at the Persimmon Gallery, and if people go there today, um, they'll have the pleasure of walking in and seeing all this beautiful artwork from, um, I think there are 16 artists, and um, I feel very fortunate, very, very fortunate to be in that gallery. It's so busy, so this is a perfect time because we have just people walking out, so this is a perfect time. Excellent, so I'm, I'm gonna mute myself and let you guys do all the talking. Okay. So um, we are at Stargard Art Studios. I'm Jay Stargard. And I'm Susan Stoll. And we are celebrating art out here. And it's so nice to be on the Plaster Studios tour. But you probably want to see some art. So we'll show a couple pieces of mine. And then we'll walk over to Susan's and see what she's doing. So I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of a preview. There we go. Where you want me. You're fine. You're perfect. <laughs> just for right now. And then I'll, then I'll be able to film you. And we have some of the stainless steel, bronze and copper pieces that I work with. And some of the things that I made really special just for studios tour are some of the wishing bowls, which is really fun. And then we have some of the flowers. And another. So we have this and then the outside sculpture garden that you can come see and we will walk over to where Susan is and you can see some of the pieces that she has. So it's just a small short commute that we're going to walk a little faster at and there's a butterfly it. bench. <laughs> It's really fun to have studio tours out here um, because you have such a beautiful view and nice, crisp, clean air. It makes it really fun. So I'll have Susan. Susan, you want to talk about any particular piece? Um, or do you want to? Well, I have several different uh, pieces in my photography here. This piece here is of a lotus that was taken in Sacramento. Uh, early in the day, really the lighting and the color of the reflection, I think, makes it a highlight piece. But there's just several different pieces from okay. different areas around. Um, this, this piece down here was taken at Jay Stargard's, um, her water garden. I know, right here that piece was taken, which makes it super, super cool that she's showing. Yeah. And also, and also this yeah, black and you gotta look at that. Is, uh, Jay yeah, come on in as well. So here's another one that was taken here locally, but the um, photos are all different places. Uh, we have a selection of different cards and things for people that are looking for small items to include with gifts. Uh, the wild dogwood here was taken just outside in Nevada City. Uh, so the lighting was spectacular and it's fun to do exploring and just see what we can find in our beautiful area. It's so fun to get a little video of, of being able to see stuff live, but it's more fun if you guys come out in, in person. Yes. And so I hope that you do. We're stop number two on the website of Placer Arts. And, but if you're coming out, we are on Highway 80. And we are exit number one, three, one. And then you just follow the signs. We put out a million signs so you could find us nice and easy. Yeah, and then check out this gorgeous piece that Susan has here. And you've probably seen that. So this one, I, I the title is Sunrise Silhouette. And to me, the tranquility piece and the intertwining of the reeds is just a very magical piece. And I hope that it brings peace and uh, tranquility to all that get to view it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I hope you guys come out and it's so fun to, to share the art that we have. Yes. And so come out and see us. Yeah. So <laughs> that was fun. Thank you guys. You're Thank so you. welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Susan. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, Susan. Bye. Okay. We'll see you later. Good luck.
No, we were, I know. Well, we were doing a live feed. They were doing, uh, yeah, so they were just broadcasting live. Yeah. Hi, welcome. How's it going? So soon has a. Well, hello, I'm Gia McNutt, and uh, welcome to our studio tour here at Jennifer Johnson's studio. And we've got some wonderful metal sculptures all around. We've got my art right here, paintings, uh, acrylic, and mixed media. Let's go take a look so at let's it. Let's take a look. Challenging lighting here. But, uh... <laughs> Sorry. Well, it's, it's backlit. It's backlit, exactly. It's like a light box. <laughs> With yeah. <laughs> strange stripes. Is this, uh, it looks like Italy. It's Venice, yeah. Nice. Yeah. And down there is France. This is uh, yeah. south of France down there. Yeah, that's the, one of the backlit ones. So those yeah. stripes are not in the, no, in the picture. No, they're not. They're not. <laughs> now we're getting over where it's not quite as bad. Mm -hmm. but. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Now these are uh, acrylic. Is these that are correct? acrylic, and all three of those are just prints on canvas. So these these three right here. Yes, those okay. three are not originals. Uh, they're reprints. Okay. These are originals, and those two are recently completed and inspired by the wonderful fall colors all around us. Yes, excellent, excellent. Okay, it looks like some abstract though yeah, going I'm on over moving here. Moving into my abstract work, which I I embarked upon in the last year, year and a half, and it's really been exciting for me. I. It really gives me some freedom, you know, to not be so literal. There you, you go. Know? <laughs> Good. Excellent. Yeah. These are a little I dark. There's lots of, yeah, it's very dark in here. Um, lots of found objects. We've got some mica from Folsom Lake in that piece you're looking at right now. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah. And the one above that has some uh, of a palm what is tree that? that we needed to get rid of in my yard for insurance. Okay. Uh, and it was such gorgeous. You know, incorporated it, into your yeah, artwork. So nat and beautiful, I couldn't throw it away. Excellent. Let's go back over here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That piece has a lot of different textures in it. Um, it's using some crackle paste and some fiber paste, and mm -hmm. that one is called Shimmering Lagoon. Okay. Nice. That is this some more of the palm tree? More of the palm tree. <laughs> That one also includes some uh, polymer clay pieces, oh. and I wonder who could have helped me make those. Hmm. Hmm. Could it be Rebecca <laughs> Martinez? Oh yeah, it sure was. All right. Okay, let's uh, shall we go into the yard? Yes, My, let's do uh, that. Mm -hmm. okay. These 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 are Jennifer's. Jennifer's, yes, Jennifer Johnson's metal works. Oh, I really like this. Piece. Look at this one. Yeah. Get in close on this one here. Yeah. Love that. Light enough to travel, and it certainly has a lot of meaning this year because most of us can't travel. Yeah. In fact, like that's it. what it's called. Yes, it is. <laughs> wow, what's this one called? Over there, I don't know the name. Well, let's check it out. It is the spectacular juggling Jenny. <laughs> I love the piece that she put on her head. It's just so colorful. Oh, mm -hmm. 